if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number one of the new Valencia career mode here on FIFA 16. We started a new career mode on Saturday evening with the career mode RTG and now on Monday replacing the Chelsea series, we're now starting here at Valencia. I'm not going to use the 60% increase to the transfer budget for this particular series. We really do not need it. Global Transfer Network Scout though I will take. Always helpful to have a helping hand in that particular side of things but as you can see the starting transfer budget at Valencia is 50 million. We really don't need an extra 60% on that. That will definitely be enough for us to bring in the sort of talent we need to to help improve this size. So we'll be taking control of Valencia. Six minute halves. We will download the latest squads. We will of course make sure that that uh, we're in the Europe. Our group contains Manchester City, PSV and Lazio. So that's not a very easy group, in fairness. We will advance on. Obviously, I'll be uh, having myself as uh, Chesnoy Gaming as the manager, but I'm not sure what the initial aim is for this first season at Valencia. Obviously, we want to challenge, if we can, for the title. But Real Madrid... Uh, Barcelona and probably Atletico as well will be pretty strong and probably too strong for us in this first season unless we can bring in an absolute wonder star in this first year. We'll be on world class of course so it's not going to be easy regardless. I'm not the best at FIFA as you guys know but I try my absolute hardest. We do play some good football. We've had some success with the Chelsea career mode. We've had some success in the My Player. We had some success with Wolfsburg and now it's time to have some success in Spain in La Liga with Valencia if we possibly can. Key players in the squad will be Paco Alcacer and uh, Sofian Fagouli, of course, on the right-hand side. Danny Parejo had a very good year last year for Valencia in the league, and he'll be integral to our midfield play. Uh, unfortunately, we lost Nicolas Otamendi, of course, to Manchester City in the summer transfer window, but we the club have brought in a couple of new players to replace uh, the players that they've lost, and I will quickly say this, and then we'll do what we did with uh, all of the career modes that we've done so far this year. We'll have a quick look through the squad report, see what we've got at our disposal, what our initial plans are for the squad, where we need to improve, and then you guys come in with your transfer suggestions in the comments section down below. Obviously, we want to maximise our potential profit from the transfer window. Thinking, though, not to go with that £7 million uh, offer on the left-hand side because of the strength of opposition. Wolfsburg and AC Milan in the group might not help us get the most out of that competition. We'll probably be able to go further in this one. It's only a £6.3 million prize pool, but we're more likely to reach the maximised or maximum of that particular tournament than we are in the other two. So we'll go with that one and we'll have a quick look and see what the board expect from us this year. Obviously, uh, we'll be in the Copa del Rey and they only want us to reach the quarter final in the Copa del Rey. That's interesting. That's good for us. It means we have lower expectations in this first year. The uh, top scout reckons on our assistant manager reckon we should look for an, a defensive midfielder. We'll have to wait and see what we think of the squad ourselves. The league objective is to qualify for the Champions League. That shouldn't be too difficult here in this first year. I will quickly have a look, of course, at the... Uh, actually, let's scroll from to the left-hand side to uh, see it's the top four, I believe, in La Liga that get Champions League football. It is, and then fifth and sixth get Europa League football. So we have to finish top four. That is definitely achievable in this first year at Valencia where we have a big transfer budget at our disposal. They start with a 4-3-3 formation. I'm not planning on changing that initially. Obviously, you guys know I prefer a 4-2-3-1, but we will give the 4-3-3 a go if that's their default formation. We'll sort by position so we can see how strong this squad is initially and then you guys will definitely have a big part to play in all of the transfers we make. They have just brought in Matthew Ryan, as you can see, for £9.5 million from Club Bruce. So goalkeeper is a position we do not need to strengthen in. Diego Alves will be my number one. He probably will continue to grow, actually, despite being 30 years of age. Goalkeepers do tend to grow a little bit later in their career. Uh, what, I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. I don't know whether it's Halme, Jaume. I am not... Uh, entirely too short. What nationality is he? Maybe that will give us a Spanish. I don't know. Uh, but he'll probably go out on loan. 24 years of age, 74 rated, but having brought Matthew Ryan in, uh, he's going to be surplus to requirements, as is Yoel, although he's out on loan at Raya Vallecano already. So we'll probably send Helme out on loan. Matthew Ryan will be our backup. Diego Alves will be our first team. 
not a problem in goal. When it comes to right back, uh, Jao Concelo will be our first team right back. Obviously, he's recently arrived at the club as well for £3.6 million from Benfica, as you can see. Antonio Barahan is a very good right back as well. He too can play left back, I believe. No, apparently right back and right mid. Fair enough, I thought he could play left back as well. And then we've got Carlos Acapo. He's a youngster. He'll go out on loan. But we do have two pretty decent right backs who will... Uh, actually, Barahan might not grow that much, but he seems good enough. For, uh, for now as a rotation right back and Zal Cancelo will be very good for us and hopefully he'll grow fantastically well throughout the course of this series. When it comes to centre-back, the club does have a fair few at the club but a few of them are quite young. We've got Anderlan Santos, uh, 26 years old, 80 rated. He's pretty slow which is an issue, but he's very strong and really good in the tackle. So not too sure what to make of him. I haven't played with him yet. We'll find out in pre-season how good he is. We'll have to make a decision on him. Recently arrived for £14 million from Braga. Ayman Abdenor has recently arrived from Monaco for £17 million. He is a solid, solid centre-back with plenty of growth potential as well. Really looking forward to getting him in the starting lineup alongside Mustafi. He will be my other starting centre-back. 82 rated the German at 23 years of age. He's going to be a wonderful player for us. And uh, obviously Abdenor and Santos are the replacements for Otamendi, who went to Manchester City. Ruben Vezo seems pretty capable as well at 21 years of age and 76 rated. So he, I think centre-back-wise, we should be OK as well with Abdenor and Mustafi as our starting centre-backs, Santos and Vezo as backups with Diallo and Sergio Ayala as, uh, as youngsters that will go out on loan. We seem pretty set at centre-back as well. Left-back, obviously, Jose Gaia is going to be the starting left-back and one of, the best side, one of the best players in the side. Lucas Orban is another player similar to uh, Barahan, who's a little bit older, but still very capable of doing a job in that wing-back role. And Salva Ruiz is currently out on loan at Granada, and uh, hopefully he can grow quite nicely as well whilst out on loan. Uh, when it comes to the holding midfielders, we have... Uh, Wilfred Zahibo, he'll go out on loan. I may even sell him considering he's 21 years of age and only 60 rated. We might look to move him on thinking about it. Tropi's 20 and 64 uh, overall, so he'll probably get loaned out. Danilo is 19 and 77 rated. He's going to be a very good youngster that will grow fantastically well. He's currently, though, only on loan at Valencia. We may, depending on how good he plays in this first season, look to bring him in permanently. Javi Fuego is a really good player. 31 years old though, so getting on a little bit, but should definitely be able to do a job for us in the squad in the first year. Solid in the tackle, as you can see, and not bad with his passing as well, although we do have some very good centre mids at the club as well. Uh, when it comes to wide players, on the right-hand side, Federico Cartabia is out on loan currently at Depor. He looks okay, actually. Not very strong, but if he can have a good loan spell, then he could do very well for us in the second season. Roberto Ibanez is out on loan at Granada as well he is uh, also very quick decent on the ball and could be quite good for the second season as well Nando uh, probably will be uh, moved on once he comes back from loan at Cordoba we clearly have two other great prospects on the right hand side of midfield when it comes to out and out central midfielders all round central midfielders look how good Danny Pereira is absolutely fantastic uh, really looking forward to using him Andre Gomez also a really good all round player he looks phenomenal as well is he new He's not new. I don't know who Andre Gomez is, I will be honest. I've not used him previously. Enzo Perez obviously arrived from Benfica in the previous season. We've really got so many great central midfielders at the club right now. And Fran Villalba, or Fran Vialba, is uh, a youngster, 17 years of age, 17 years of age, 60 rated. He'll probably go out on loan. Considering they're playing the 4-3-3, it is probably a very good thing that we've got plenty of uh, good central midfielders so uh, we may definitely stick with we may definitely that doesn't necessarily make sense but you know what I mean we'll probably stick with a 4-3-3 then if we're successful with it Rodrigo De Paul or Paul I don't really know how to pronounce that I apologize he's Argentinian can play on the left hand side of midfield or at cam and uh, we could always obviously switch from the 4-3-3 with a holding mid and two CMs to a cam and two CMs if uh, Rodrigo De Paul wants to play in that particular role. He, though, looks like a very exciting young prospect as well. Nacho Hill will uh, probably go out on loan, 19 years of age, 60 rated. 
Uh, Danny Ramirez, again a youngster. Actually, I'm 23. We'll probably sell him. He doesn't look like he's going to grow much more, to be honest. Sofian Faguli is fantastic. We bought him at Wolfsburg. We know how good he can be out on the uh, right-hand side. Sorry, may need to offer him a new contract, though, if his contract is expiring, because, of course, that is how we were able to get hold of him at Wolfsburg on a free transfer. Zakari Baka Zachariah Bakali, sorry, arrived from PSV or PSV for £5.5 .5 million. He's a great prospect as well. Two years ago on FIFA 14, he was the go-to youngster to uh, try and sign. Then last year on FIFA 15, it was kind of Depay, but now Bacali out of Valencia could be a fantastic youngster for us. Can he play on the left-hand side as well? Be great if he can. He can. Brilliant. Really looking forward to using Bacali. Santi Mina is a player that is young and looks really actually quite good for uh, only 19 years of age. Not the fastest, so maybe won't be that useful out wide. But can he play centrally? He can't. But he can play at striker and with 79 finishing... Could be useful. Could be a very good squad player. Rodrigo is obviously a player that can play up top or out wide on either side. He'll be crucial to our overall play this season. Probably going to play him out on the left-hand side of mid of uh, the wing. But we may use him as a rotation stroke as well for the main man, Paco Alcacer, who will be our number one striker at the club. He's very, very good. We had him at uh, as Spain manager in the Twitch career mode at Atletico Madrid, and he scored a phenomenal few goals for us in the Euro 2016 tournament. Alvaro Negredo is also a very capable striker, not the fastest, but really strong. Obviously made his loan move permanent this summer, and uh, hopefully we'll get the best out of him. Might not see too much first-team football, because he's not the sort of player that I really excel with on the game, but uh, he does have good ball control, so we may be able to use him as kind of a battering ram for opposition defences. Rafa Mir is a youngster that will go out on loan or get sold. 17 years of age, probably send him... Uh, put him out on loan rather than sell him, considering he is so young. Uh, Pablo Piatti is rapid on the left-hand side, so... I honestly don't know where this squad needs improving. To be completely honest, after looking through this squad report and seeing the sort of players we have at the club, where do we improve? Everybody, everybody seems like they are very capable of giving us the opportunity to be successful in this first season. We may look at a left-back. We may look to left-back, although we have Jose Gaia, so... Honestly, you guys are really going to have to let me know in the comment section what do we do here because the the squad is really strong, but it's not strong enough to help us compete on all fronts, I don't think. When it comes to centre of midfield, we really have a plethora of fantastic talent. We could maybe do with a, another centre-back, a stronger centre-back than perhaps Vezo, but I'm going to put Mustafi in the starting lineup for Santos and uh, we I'll fiddle with the... Uh, the layout of the bench and the, the reserves off camera, but the squad's very strong. Off the top of my head, I don't know where we'd need to improve. You guys are really going to have to come through with suggestions here. Goalkeeper wise, I don't know why Ryan's in the starting lineup. We will obviously go with uh, Diego Alves, and Jaime will go onto the bench or out of the bench, and uh, Ryan will go on. I just we've got a lot of youngsters that will go out on loan or be sold, so maybe we could just do with depth. Maybe we could go out and buy. If we maybe we should. Considering our first team lineup is so strong, we should get rid of, rather than the, a couple of the youngsters we were thinking maybe we'll send them out on loan, let's get rid of all the youngsters and bring in our own promising prospects. Maybe we could go for, uh, you know, players that will grow into fantastic talents over the next two to three seasons here at Valencia because I think the first team, the first 11, is just phenomenal right now. I don't see anything wrong with that. So you guys, like I say, are really going to have to help me when it comes to uh, building what sort of side we want here at Valencia for the future. But for now, I'm pretty excited to get cracking with this Valencia team. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think, and uh, I will take on board, obviously, all of your suggestions. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Of course, this series will continue tomorrow, so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. The schedule in the description and on the About tab of the channel page has been changed and altered to show the new Valencia and Career Mode RTG series on it rather than the Chelsea and Wolfsburg series. And obviously the My Player goes from strength to strength as well. And there was a brilliant episode of that yesterday, which you must check out if you haven't already. But feel free to check all the social media links in the description down below. They'll be listed on your screen and down below, like I say, in the description. As well as a link to the No Identity merchandise store as well if you'd like to pick yourself up a t-shirt. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Please, please, please help me decide what to do with this Valencia squad in the comment section down below. And I'll see you next time.